The other day in my prayer time, Jesus gave me such a wonderful message that it just wrecked me for days. And I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Kayla here. Be sure to subscribe if you are looking for ways to live an abundant and radiant life through Jesus. So as I was praying the other day, Jesus reminded me that he is the good shepherd. And he told me that he wants all of his children to know, that includes you, that we need to stop believing the lies of the enemy. And we need to stop essentially letting the enemy come and pretend to be a good shepherd. The Bible talks about it, right? I think it's called like the hireling, which is really a counterfeit relationship to the one that we should have with Jesus, who is our good shepherd. And truth be told, I had heard the parable of the good shepherd many, many times, but it just hit different that day, the way that Jesus explained it to me. And then going back to read John 10, like in its entirety, it just hit different. Like things just jumped off of the page and I was honestly a wreck for days <laughs> reading through John 10 in a way that I never have before. So this is what Jesus told me to share. Jesus is the good shepherd and we are his sheep. When we have a relationship with Jesus, we have intimacy with him in a way that we hear his voice and we know his voice versus the voice of the enemy. Jesus is the good shepherd because he protects his sheep. And remember, we're his sheep. He protects us. He guides us. He goes before us to show us the way. And most importantly, he's a good shepherd who laid down his life for us. That just like gets me every time. He sacrificed himself for you and for me. That's why he's the good shepherd because he loves on his sheep. He protects his sheep. He guides his sheep and he will lay down his life for his sheep. So like I said earlier, Jesus told me that we need to stop believing the lies of the enemy because the enemy doesn't care about you. The enemy is only using us to advance like the agenda of darkness pretty much. He doesn't care about us. He doesn't love us. He just uses us as a pawn if we allow him to basically do his dirty work. But he would never lay down his life for us the way that Jesus would. So Jesus wants us to stop Stop listening to those lies of the enemy because that's what's stopping us from being the men and women that God created us to be and to reach our destiny that God created for us. That's what's stopping us is that we're not hearing the voice of our shepherd Jesus. We are instead distracted by the voice of the enemy. But Jesus, he has a better way and Jesus is that better way. This is what Jesus told me, right? He said, <laughs> that the equation is simple. You plus Jesus equals an abundant life. I mean, it is a simple equation, but how easily do we get these things mixed up? We try to put us plus money and think that's gonna equal an abundant life or us plus the, the love of our life is gonna equal an abundant life, but the equation's all wrong. It is us plus Jesus. He is the one that gives us that abundant life. And we know this in scripture, which is in John 10, if we go to John 10:10, 10, 10. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. How amazing is that? Who cares about the enemy? Jesus came so that we can have life and have it more abundantly. You plus Jesus equals that abundant life. He is the way, he is the way, the only way. So Jesus wants you to know that he is here for you. He will never, never give up on you. He won't let the enemy snatch you out of his hand. He is going to protect you like that good shepherd. He won't let anything snatch you out of his hands. How amazing is that? So I hope this was as powerful as it was for me and I urge you guys really to pick up your Bibles and read all of John 10, the entire chapter and just meditate on what Jesus told us about how he is that good shepherd. It just blew me away and it was such a beautiful reminder. And don't forget the simple equation that we tend to overcomplicate is that it's you plus Jesus. 
that is the way to the abundant life that you're seeking. So don't be afraid to trust Jesus. Jesus wants you to trust him because he is trustworthy. He laid down his life for you. And once you begin to trust him, ugh, I mean, your life is about to begin once you begin to trust him. All right, guys, let's say a prayer. Thank you, Father. Jesus, thank you for this wonderful message that you wanted to remind all of your children with that you truly are the good shepherd. Jesus, thank you for being that way to an abundant life. Thank you for laying down your life for us. Even though we didn't deserve it, you still laid down your life for us. And I know you would do it all over again for us. And we just thank you so much, Jesus, for your sacrifice. And Father, please, we ask for forgiveness for any time when we got that equation wrong, where we put other things in place of Jesus, whether it be money or people, or just the, we weren't focused on the things of the kingdom. Just please forgive us for that. And Holy Spirit, please guide us in the future so that we won't get that equation wrong any longer, that we will always remember that it is us plus Jesus, that that is the way to the abundant life that Jesus had created for us. And we are just so grateful and so thankful that we have such a good shepherd. And we break the yoke that we've been under that had us believe the lies of the enemy. We break that right now in the name of Jesus. We will no longer be held to those lies of the enemy anymore. We cast them out of our lives right now. And we pray this all in your son Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Whew. Honestly, guys, I'm surprised I didn't cry more, but I think I like got out most of my tears this whole week as I've been reading John 10. Oh, so I was glad I was able to keep it together. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Again, I hope this blessed you. Jesus said this to me and he told me to share it with you guys. So I know that if you're watching this right now, it's because he wanted you to hear this message. And like I said before, take some time to read through John 10 and just invite the Holy Spirit to help you read that chapter in a way that he will reveal whatever needs to be revealed to you so that you can start living that abundant life with Jesus. All right, guys, as always, give this a thumbs up. Share it with your family and friends. Drop me a comment below and stay tuned next week for the next video. All right, guys, peace, love, and blessings. Bye.